Last year, business rates were increased by 5.6%. That was way above the rate of inflation. September 2011, we happened to have an unusual blip in the retail price index, which meant that at a time when retailers were closing and we hear an average of 20 per day throughout 2012, they decided to impose a 5.6% increase on business rates, which were already by many considered to be excessive. And we have another rates increase coming, in spite of lobbying from the British Retail Consortium and Retail Week to say, well, freeze business rates this year. Don't apply this rise. This is just a straw to break a lot of camels' backs. I think if their heart was really in it, they wouldn't just be freezing business rates. Instead of throwing a few hundred thousand pounds around at towns who don't know how to spend it, they might actually be better investing in a complete overhaul of the rating system, which is outmoded and not relevant to the way that retail works today. I actually do agree with Vince Cable that it isn't the job of government to interfere with natural market forces and competition, but they are required to provide a fair and level playing field. We see large out-of-town developments, major supermarkets being built in rural areas which utterly destroy the local economy. It might be beneficial for some, it might create some jobs, but for as many jobs as it creates, it drains the lifeblood out of a community and leaves them with a ghost town. Councils make an enormous money from council-run car parks, so I can understand completely why they wouldn't want to give that away for free. But equally, they take an allocation back from the business rates collected. So you have to create a balancing act to work out where the right economic balance is. Is it to give free parking to ensure that their, their businesses are booming, that their, the units are all filled and that rates collected are as, as much as they can be? Or, or is it, in fact, to charge for parking and perhaps see a number of vacant units on the high street? And I think that's going to be different for each community. Retailers have to take responsibility for being relevant and appropriate for the needs and wants of the local customer. So... If somebody is selling something that the community simply don't want, they either have to change what they sell or move on to somewhere where what they have got to offer is relevant. Uh, businesses don't need the handouts as such, but they need the structures and the environment to trade effectively. When people talk to me about what is the success template for a town, so well, it isn't, there isn't one, because if we talk about templates, we head down the clone town route again and everybody turns out the same. And that means that probably nobody's that satisfied. Whereas if we allow businesses and community to thrive in an open market, then what happens is each one will grow uniquely and organically to support the unique community that it's there to serve. They are a pilot because they are to try and test something. They won the money because they said they were ready to get started, implement projects immediately that could then be assessed for impact positively or negatively and thus a package of recommendations could be provided nationwide to any town so they had to be started delivered reported on and replicable and what i heard from dartford was that they were using the fact that they were a pilot to call in lots of freebies from big companies who wanted to ride the back of the pr wave they suggested that ncr was going to be providing them with free wi-fi for the town well that's great but it's not replicable they're not going to do that for every town nationwide and therefore as a pilot that proves nothing and that's my issue with this it's not that they're not being innovative good luck to them but they're not doing what they said they would with the money and that's unfortunate it seems to be a tit for tat argument with who is responsible for a failure okay there's been a failure put that to one side how can we turn that into success and actually see some of these pilots deliver the innovation that they said they would and then prove whether those innovative ideas that they put into their proposal in the first place could be replicated to UK towns to help bring back customers, to help breathe new life. And actually, that's what we should be focusing on, not, not the talking shops and the forums that the government is setting up, but actually putting project managers, if necessary, into each of these towns to push things forward, people who know what they're doing and know how to do it. Because town teams are great, motivated, wonderful people, but they are all volunteers and they just simply don't have the skills to deliver.